All right, we are back, and it's crossfire with Dapa Anishoma. I didn't know what happened in the very first half of the show. I don't know how and where uh, both lawyers, I mean, Ayola Julius and uh, Mishoma Againe, I, I really don't know. But I think this calls for a very quick reform in the judiciary. Thank I mean, this is I what I agree. think. I mean, if both of you... I mean, in your own profession, <laughs> can go this route, and you take oppos I mean, opposing positions, you know, on the on the issues when it, I mean, that bothers around the judiciary. In the uh, now, now what, I, what let me you ask you, reform? let me ask you this: What is reform? What, okay, what, what, when we say reform in the judiciary, what do you mean by reform? I don't really understand. You see, let me tell you something. I, don't you think there's corruption in the judiciary? There is the corruption judiciary. in Nigeria. No, yeah, no, is, there, is there, there in the judiciary? In the judiciary, the judiciary. When you say there is corruption in the judiciary, you are speaking as if the judiciary is just one isolated... No, don't I mean, isolate I mean, it. I, I, look, I'm look, not saying, let's take it as an element. There is corruption in the judiciary, yes. Yes. there is corruption in Nigeria, there is corruption everywhere. everywhere. So don't, okay. let's not isolate it. You know, but when you talk about reforms, no, but let us just I mean, be I for the sake of argument. For the sake of argument, every Nigerian sector, public sector needs serious reforms. Reforms, okay. But, but for the judiciary, judiciary, they need We have reforms because the reforms because that have been done before, yes. they have not been applied. Okay. Now, you have to okay, okay, the okay, let's put. When you explain the law to a level, you let's will not put the show gas. in perspective, Ayola. But let's when you explain the law, you can't have gas. Now, now let's put the, the show in perspective, Ayola. Now, corruption is something that has eaten deep. We have established that. Mm -hmm. Now, we've been talking about corruption, and this cuts across every strata of the Nigerian economy. Every individual in Nigeria seems to have traces of, you know, of, um, of corruption in them, in whatever they do, how they do it, and to whom or with whom they do, you know, they do it with. Now, let's look at it. There have been, you know, a lot of arrays of arrests that have been made. Suspects um, have been, you know, pronounced. People are, I mean, and, and don't forget some of the institutions that have been, that we have, who are supposed to, you know, to be geared up to begin to make arrests, like EFCC, ICPC. Now, these activities, do you think this is leading us anywhere in the, in the, I mean, in the, I'm talking very strong about the anti-graft war, that the president has instituted. Do you think we are going anywhere on this particular matter? Well, it is too early to say in the day, but if, okay. if I can make some, what you call, suppositions, we are not going to go anywhere with this type of anti-corruption crusade. Okay. okay. Because what we are doing now is we are making noise, so much noise. The public is so much involved in investigation of criminal activities at the topmost level because everything is in the open. Even the FCC, they don't have finis. There's not everything you do, you bring it to the press. No, but, but that's I'm what coming. happens in other advanced I'm, on, I'm let coming. Let Look him. at the FIFA scandal. Let, let him land on this point. You see, what you are talking about at the national level is that you have intelligence coming before prosecution. Hmm. But in Nigeria, we don't gather intelligence. We just look at that boy. This is that boy. It was the governor was the of the state. Yeah, yeah. He's a thief. It's a thief. We go and arrest him. Hmm. He might possibly be a thief, but in the eye of the law, you need to prove this beyond reasonable doubt. So you end up seeing the criminal going home because the... the, the because at the, the end of the, the day, no, the, the no, there's no enough evidence. He's not do anything. Exactly. Mm -hmm. the, you see them riding on... In fact, sometimes the prosecution too will get facts from the papers. Reforms. All of these reforms, all their words. It's Proper not, reforms. Look, True or false? all you need to do is not even reform. When you say reform, reform I think is, empowering. Reform, reform, I reform think, is I think, a high-powered vocabulary. Yes, I think empowering. What we should do yeah. mm -hmm. is reorientation. But well, all of that falls under reformation. Reorientation. Reforms. Look, uh, we need, Changing we, the we, system. we need to get Changing the lots of uh, psychologists. Maybe the processes are not of, uh, Maybe the processes are just okay. Reforms. Look, maybe the people, people do because not of know corruption, their roles. there's disorientation. People don't know their roles. But that is what this reformation seeks to achieve. When you say reform, you, you, it you simply means you want to set up a committee to turn out some no, reform policies. No. Look, Nigeria has no, you're wrong. The, number, the highest number of laws in Africa. Are you aware of that? <laughs> and in terms of anti-corruption crusade, some Nigeria of has laws, the highest number of anti-corruption uh, agencies laws. in Africa. Do you know? Do you know? Permit, yes. permit me to say something yes. now. Permit me to say Police, something. Mm -hmm. SFU. Police, SFU, you know escort. That some of these laws when need to be When the country has too many laws, it's an admission of a failed fight. That is the issue. That is the issue which this reform should No, come again, has come again. When a country has too many laws regulating behavior. Yeah. It is an admission on the part of that country that yes, that country is a failed society. But do you know, do you know? So Nigeria is in a failed state. Nigeria is in a failed state. We are tending towards a failed society. Failed state. Failed state. Failed state. Failed state. Because when you fear the law, because you are afraid, 
then you, are, you, you don't know the meaning that of the law. That society is not fair. You don't obey the law because you're afraid. You obey because you defer to the law. Do you Nigerians know don't defer to law. Nigerians obey law when they see, fear, when they see, when they see consequences. They, say, consequences. they will violate the traffic law when we there's fear no the policeman. Consequences, exactly. When the policeman standing by, they obey the law. That, mm -hmm. That's a very bad but look, side. But look at, our Niger look at the Nigerian society, especially with this multiplicity of laws. Mm -hmm. Some of these laws, when you look at them strictly, they contradict themselves. So that is why you see maybe the prosecutor that hinging on this particular law, now the defense that say, okay, no, this particular law, uh, this law's conflict. It all goes that back to the issue of intelligence. That is what the reform we do. It all goes back to issue of intelligence. Let me ask you, on many occasions, okay. on many occasions, uh, uh, you have turned this uh, uh, test into, uh, uh, into, into a legal test. Let me ask you this question. Right. That is what the reform we do. Let me ask both of you this question. On many occasions, I have had criminal cases struck out by the judge because the charges were not tidy. Okay, we will be looking at Hold on, hold on, hold on gentlemen and on lady. Because there hold on, no gentlemen and lady. Ayola, hold on. Ishama, Ishama, hold on. We've we'll been looking at the role of the judiciary in our corruption, uh, in the fight against corruption and the anti graft war that President Muhammadu Buhari has instituted. And then we have seen a lot of arrests, but we have seen little or no persecutions, I mean, prosecutions. And uh, now, is this war going to be won, or at the same time, because of the way it's Started, is going to is lost already, and I think that 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 that's the position we're looking at here. Now let me ask you, what exactly do you think is the exa I mean, is the is the main role of the judiciary in the anti graft war that the um, I mean that the president is after? The main role Let's look of at those the roles. main role yeah. of the judiciary in this current crusade is to give the law the intended interpretation. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in doing that, you will expect our judges to become very jurisprudential. Mm -hmm. Why? Because some of our laws, if they were to be given a what you call narrow or strict interpretation, mm -hmm. yeah. every criminal will possibly escape. Mm -hmm. our As laws, they have been escaping anyway. Our mm -hmm. laws now <laughs> should be interpreted purposive, I mean, in a purposive manner. Okay. We call it purposive interpretation. What is the purpose of this law? Mm. I know the prosecution did not bring the right charge, yes, but that shouldn't be they sufficient wrong to say this guy should go home. Law. I will give you an order to amend this charge and put the right one. All right, let's take this. This can call. only be done where the judges mm. become jurisprudential. But, but when you have the judges, it's not issue of reform. All right, let's, let's take this. Take call, call, uh, should you okay? Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good, morning. Good to have you on the show. Ah, uh, fine. Yes, uh, I've been I've been listening to the show this morning, and actually, I've been trying very hard to follow the topic. All right. Okay. So, uh, all I just want to suggest is, please, at least when you have a guest, you can allow him to talk so that we will hear. Then, when That's he responds, then you can. I really don't question. know how your man and uh, I, uh, so, I guess got to where they uh, are this morning. Lawyers. Thank you, Chidoke. Thank you. Thank you, Chidoke. Your, right. your, your, this your, is crossfire. Your point well that also. All right. Good. Anyway, crossfire. We differ on opinions, and sometimes, and or most of the times, mm -hmm. it just. I mean, we just ensued in argument. It just results into a very hot argument. I will try as much as possible because of our viewers to try. Uh, I mean, to it's just room. make sure that mm -hmm. at least we give room. Now, as the judiciary, have they really excelled? Let's look at it from, I mean, from maybe the last um, administration. Now, where and how did the judiciary get to where we are today? People do not, no, do not, I mean, people no longer we trust. We know his position. Hold on. People no longer <laughs> trust in the court system. The you court know? system, people no longer trust in the, in the judiciary. They believe that once you are, I mean, you, you definitely you are boxed up or you have uh, mm -hmm. one or two things that you can use to, you know, to pr prosecute your, your case very well, at the end of the day, you are going home. We have sure. seen a lot of people that have been arrested, exactly. they've been taken to court, and a lot of them are back home now. They, did, they were not even jailed. Oh, God. Hmm. Do you know why? Yeah, why? Like I said, <laughs> you don't blame the judges for some of these things. Oh, like seriously? Yes. You have to blame the system, you have to blame the investigator of crime. Mm. In Nigeria, the person who investigates the crime and the prosecutor, there is a serious disconnect. 
Do you get what I'm saying? Do you, do you I'm understand coming. that? Oh, so Nigeria, like, like, I, I want to just give you a, okay. one of these problems. In Nigeria, the investigator mm -hmm. of a crime, the supposed uh, IPO, yes. and the prosecutor, there is a serious disconnect between them. Mm -hmm. In developed societies, so there is a synergy between the yeah. prosecutor and the investigator, mm -hmm. such that even during you know, investigation. investigation and taking of statement, the prosecutor the is stops. present, mm -hmm. studying most times the countenance of the accused person. True. So that when he goes to court, he's not meeting him for the first time. Mm -hmm. But in Nigeria, what you see is that the prosecutor is in court, then the, 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 the police, they bring the, the, the charge to him, they dump, dump it on his desk. He needs to read the statements, sometimes right then, terribly right. written. He needs to look at the evidence, sometimes nowhere packaged, and you want to do magic? What magic? It's not possible. Secondly, Nigeria, we don't have witness protection law. Right. Exactly. So people are afraid to come out. So if yeah. you don't have a witness protection law, and some offenses require corroboration, mm -hmm. there is no way you can secure conviction without corroboration, unless... Exactly. So we do blow, we do blow as are not protected. So, so, so I won't come and give evidence against Mr. A, for instance, when I know that when I do that, I will possibly lose my life or my parents' exactly. life or my children's life. But all of this you're saying abuse. Because on the long run, he's not even going to be jailed. Not, so he's coming not, out again to start to become a, a human issue hunter. Judiciary. Well, That's an issue of the system. System, but the system can only be cleansed to work according to what you're saying, where until we have a proper reformation of the system, you the see, procedures, need, the processes, need, and the laws. You need to train and retrain our security agencies. Okay. Sometimes a police investigator will accost you and you are, you, are, you are stunned. It's not communicating very well. He mm. can't talk to you well. He can, the cannot impress you as a person. <laughs> they, this is a person who is doing the Investigation, investigation. Mm -hmm. is a vital part of criminal jurisprudence. The person who investigates the crime. But these guys, one, they don't speak well. It's going to be the right by, yeah? mm -hmm. If he has the right training, he's too exposed to be bribed. Exactly. So he's already compromised. Oh, guy will write on the file. Oh, yes. I want this case. I, 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 I am interested, interested in this case. Then, when you do all this rubbish, mm. you take it to a court of law, you expect the judge who possibly should get the public's credit and behave in a way not according to the law by convicting at all costs, mm. no judge will do that. Until you go back and retrain those who investigate crime and make sure that there's a synergy. In fact, for every police station or for every area command, there should be an office of a prosecutor. Mm -hmm. Create that office so that they all bring their files. If you can't be there when they are taking questions, they all bring mm -hmm. their files before you drop the charge. You must have study. studied. Sometimes some of the cases get thrown out because of bad drafting of charges. Mm -hmm. They will draft a charge with a section of the law that does not exist. Look at Mustafa's case. Quartet. If you look at Mustafa's case, people think Mustafa gave some people money. Oh, they used that to set two scores. So are you saying oh. he did not give money? No, 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 no. no. no you do not believe he Mustafa gave money. won his case on clear point of law at the appeal. If you look, but the, 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 the press too. We are not mm -hmm. very educated at the press level. We mm -hmm. don't have intelligent uh, press men reporting, I mean, what happens in the court. Mm -hmm. okay. They report their news as if they were agents of politicians, which is very bad. Probably to make money. In most of us case, yeah. at the high court, they said you made these statements that you did this. He said, I'm no longer saying so. And the court said, no, you can't take it back. That's against our criminal law jurisprudence. Mm -hmm. okay. An accused person, even though he has given you a statement at the police station, has a right to retract his. Especially if it was made. He can take his name back. I'm not sure. saying so. Because at the time I said so, I, I was being beaten seriously. What the court at that time ought to do was to take it that, okay, he's no longer saying so. Can you conduct a trial within trial? Mm -hmm. But you see the judge saying, no, 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 you have said it. Uh, you have said it. Hmm. On that basis, that that on that been, basis, okay. the judge was, with due respect, wrongly applying the law. So when he went on appeal, the question for the appeal was that. Couldn't that have been based on the okay, okay, let, let, let me ask you, Ishama, 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 Ishama like I listen to you. I am listening to you guys really very, you know, um, attentively. Now, the justice system in Nigeria has not been able to establish the principle of fairness. I'll, I'll tell you why. Somebody stole a piece of yam. Or probably mm -hmm. stole, you know, somebody's car stereo, and it gets like and it gets almost like a life imprisonment. And then somebody who has looted 
and it has been confirmed and established with that he evidences. has looted all the I will tell you why it's like that. With <laughs> evidences. <laughs> exactly. And then the person gets a six months. We have. We, I, I can give you examples. No, I will you tell know, you the of reason public why. Public office holders and I will in tell Nigeria. You that that is even justified by law. Okay. I will tell you why. Okay. 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 Stealing ordinarily yes. is a felony, <laughs> and the okay. punishment is three years and above. Okay. And so is bailable. Order. Look, it's a is it bailable? It's a felony. Okay. Any offense that is not a capital offense is a bailable offense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when you charge the accused person to court for stealing, and you are bringing him based on the right law, if there is no serious clemency plea by the defense lawyer, and that criminal is not a first offender, the judge may apply the punishment to him accordingly. Accordingly. There is no judge. On, based on there is no judge. No, accordingly will no be based on the, the provision of the law. There is no judge that will convict anyone or any accused person with, I mean, sentencing by number of years that is not known to the law. It's not possible. It's not part of our law. So why, why do we see people? So if the punishment is so six months in, 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 in prison, you cannot give offenders. one year. I'm coming. When you now see a politician, yeah. for example, who is brought to the court and is getting maybe option of fine, first you must know there is a law. The law under which he was charged to court mm -hmm. must have made provisions for fine. Otherwise, the judge cannot impose fine. So that's the other one. Wait, look, wait. That's the one. other individual was charged I'm under a law that made. No, you see that. No, we, I, no, 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 you see that some of these let laws me it. Let me themselves. clarify it for okay. the viewers. For the let sake me, of the viewers, let me let, let, let's see. Let's see our now, clarification. Now, the, the politician is given option of fine, or he goes to jail for a period of one year. You ask yourself. Because it's publicly known. Is it because this well, man is a politician? Because that's what they have been saying. Exactly. That's not the reason. Oh, that, no, 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 no. That's the reason. It was based on this that Asuki went home yesterday. That's the, no, wow. no, 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 no. Because they the know Asuki him. Asuki got well, because, his bail on self-recognition. Self-recognition, yeah, exactly. Yeah, our law allows it. So, it's okay. not from the blues. Okay. People get, you can't arrest the above. Maybe your above, maybe your above Elegushi. So where then is the With principle of fairness I'm coming. in the you Nigerian society? You arrest above with respect to him. And you expect him to stay in the police station no. without getting bail or then, self recognition? Then Nigeria, Our law allows it to the essence that such a personality okay. cannot jump bail. Okay. He cannot jump bail. Okay. Huh. Okay. Compared to a criminal or a suspect that has no substance. Oh, uh, okay. You cannot, an average Nigerian. You cannot, when you say an average Nigerian? No, let, let's say an average I don't Nigerian. Know what let, average let, that is in Nigeria. Point but that what is I'm trying to so tell you is that so it if makes this law actually I'll very give you, public I'll give you an example. Exactly. And people who I'll are popular you, in the society. Mm. The pension guy was mm -hmm. the pension guy. charged to the court under the penal code. A law that was made around 1954. Sometimes some of them, I'm coming on. Some of them are charged under the criminal code, a law where you still have punishment as low as ten naira, hundred naira for some offences. Criminal code was made in 1904. No reform now. Yes, we do. Let me now explain. Let me just let me just grab it. Maybe what we need is that. Let me grab it. Let me get it. Now we have the EFCC Act, ICPC Act. Then you say to yourself, why do you go to the criminal code of 1904? Why, what are you looking for in penal code? This is 21st century. Mm -hmm. Why can't you charge this person based on the EFCC Act or based on the ICPC Act? Act? It goes back to the issue of the intelligence of the investigator no, of crime. No, I'm coming. Because if he is knowledgeable enough, he, will he know needs to right know law. that if I'm charging this man under the penal code, as at the time the penal code was made in 1954, there is no... Somebody will steal 700 billion naira, for example. Mm -hmm as to giving the punishment of 20 years imprisonment. There is nothing in that law. So okay. for a today's investigator, for a today's prosecutor, if there is synergy, they say, no, we can't charge this man under that law. That law is here. Yes, we won't go to that law. Let's go to ICPC. Let's use this particular Let's use one. Okay. But you have policemen who do not even know <laughs> Yeah, those that are these laws even exist. exist. They don't that even know. Why we need to delete this outdated so, laws. Like right. said, so what I said, all we need to do now channel. is to have a proper all right, training. Gentlemen and lady, it's not just about training. Let's agents. go on a short break now. When we come okay. back, we'll still be talking about them. the failure yeah. in the Nigerian not justice reform. system. Reform, reform means you're right back. You re reorientation.
All right, we are back and we've been talking about the possible rottenness or discordance in the justice system in Nigeria. I quickly will take this and then uh, we engage uh, Barrister Ayola Julius again. Justice demands that when a crime is committed, the system should hand down a sentence appropriate for the offense. Now, however, the rise of mandatory minimum sentencing and lack of judicial discretion have distorted the core value of the Nigerian justice system, denying judges and juries the ability to consider the individual facts of a case and to craft an appropriate punishment. Now, we have, um, what do you call the, the, uh, the, you know, the document? How do you address the, the document that actually hands over, um, how would I put it, um, sentences appropriate for offenses that are committed? Okay, before, now, you, before you continue, yeah, please, yeah. we have a caller holding on. Hello, oh, Alex. Right. Alex, good morning. Hello. Hi, good, good morning. Good morning, Barisa. Good morning. Uh, uh, I, I thought you yeah. have uh, some guests on studio there. Yeah, yes. we have a guest in the studio, Barista Ayola Julius. All right, you are discussing legal matters, especially uh, the Nigerian judicial, <laughs> judicial system. Correct. You see, uh, Jack, I want to believe that, uh, you see, the face of the legal system we have in a country is relying upon the government in place. You see, why do I say so? Uh, I, sometimes I think it says it really law, but I could not. In fact, I mean, perhaps it's not really law because uh, those people are judicial officers. It's that they are not capable, and then our lawyers too. You see, one thing, lawyers, they can tell you black is white. Mm -hmm. Just for the sake of making money. Mm. So it is not. You see, no matter how pious a judge or a magistrate or a dispensing officer legally will be, in Nigeria context today, they are subject to a lot of external influences. Influences from government, influences from powerful individuals, mm -hmm. influences from some lawyers, especially in the cadre of the senior advocate of Nigeria. And then that makes, uh, you know, the prosecution of uh, criminal and criminality uh, uh, impossible in this country. Okay. For instance, my state governor, uh, former state governor, James Onane Tiboli, succeeded in going away country, giving the Nigerian judicial system, but got nailed in UK. So the thing is, what is wrong with our judicial system, really? So if we are talking about change, and then, if we must fight corruption to the later, I have always converted uh, convert this position of going the uh, Asian way, or sometimes I progress death penalty, or some corrupt cases. But if that is not that I still believe there are credible individuals in the major judicial system, there are credible judges who can be scattered for, and they let their handle some of these high profile uh, corruption cases that the Buhari administration. Uh, want to recover. So, can I ask you a that, question, Alex? I'm, I'm listening, Barista Ishuma. Okay, the Ise Sage Committee, you no, know, the advisory committee to the president on reformation, do you believe in it? Uh, are you talking of the, the corruption uh, advisory committee? Yes, the Ise Sage yeah. led committee. I, I believe strongly in it, in it because of the personality of uh, Professor Ise Sage. Okay. That eminent jury. But what about what uh, from the constitution? What from the constitution of such a committee? Of course, the, the, the exigency of the situation we find ourselves now form the basis of instituting that committee. So we can do things that are not constitutional and get away with it. Pardon? We can do things that are not constitutional and get away with it because of the exigencies. Uh, you see, you look at it now, these are changes formally, especially if you want to ensure uh, uh, the PDP uh, comment that is voted out. I mean, you just have to uh, uh, dance to, to the powers of the American get free. That was why Bori get free. Do you know former governor of Adamawa State? A uh, retired admiral, uh, Motala Yako, it was when he left the umbrella of the PDP for APC, they brought up this issue. So that is to you say that umbrella has been covering criminality and corruption in this country for 15 or 15 years now, Dako. 
All right. Thank you so very much, Alex. Okay, as thank usual. you so much, Alex. I mean, you now, do you do you it. think the Nigerian justice system promotes rehabilitation, redemption, fairness? I mean, you as a as a I, lawyer, I just okay, you can respond to yeah, yeah. yeah. There's something they said, which was that um, senior advocates they clog cases in courts and all those things. All those things are not true. Okay. No senior advocates can clog any case in court. Nigeria has improved in terms of our judicial system, particularly in Lagos, for example. Yes, we have to give it to Lagos. Everything you want to say before a judge, you have front loaded it. Even the senior advocate, mm -hmm. whatever he wants to say yeah. in his almighty silk, has been front loaded. So I don't know what people mean by uh, uh, they go and look for some could to do be, this. Could it be if the prosecution has mm -hmm. done the right job, mm -hmm. If the criminal department has done the right job, the senior advocate will come and argue his case. He will not look out for your technicalities. Look, the Boris case, you blame the judiciary. It's very wrong. So who should be blamed? Oh. You should blame those who charge him. Judges don't boss. charge. The judges, judges charge. they don't charge. The judges don't charge anybody to court. So you, it simply means the case, the, tender, court? Who, when you, when, the case the tender was when weak. You, when you charge somebody with 195 count charges, mm -hmm. is that not unreasonable in the first place, when two of the counts can send you to 40 years in jail, mm -hmm. or 30, why are you charging Presenting with 195 counts? <laughs> when will you see it through? When? But they didn't then you blame the judges. The you don't blame the judges, you blame the prosecution. The, no, 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 no. Which is not the part of the have the prerogative to... He doesn't to have such prerogative. They should go and amend the charge. A judge does not have the prerogative of telling Please, you... We have seen judges do, do that. Look, what the, maybe, We have maybe seen judges advise them. They can order amendment of charges. Exactly, mm -hmm. so why didn't the judge do that? They are not to amend 190 charges. When the prosecution is not tidy, you don't expect the judge to tidy him, to help him to get tidy. Okay, okay, Ayola. We need to start rounding up now because of that. Put people who have on level, people with all level, uh, what do you call it? To, 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 to be investigating. To be investigating. To be carrying out investigation. How can somebody with all level information, or OMB, no diploma in law, is investigating crime? He does not even know his mens rea. He doesn't true. know how to ask serious. And he's dealing with crime. But this is what reformation will do. This is unfortunate. This is what reformation will okay. do. And if we continue on that, let's on that start, path, let's no start. criminal in Nigeria so will go to jail. No criminal in Nigeria will go to jail. I have seen them arresting people for okay. fair promises. Yes. I have seen policemen arresting people individuals for, exactly. for fair promises. He's owing me money. He has not paid my money. He yeah. arrests him. Then when you ask him, what are you checking this guy with? He tells your guy, he lied, he lied, he lied, he lied, we are doing our job. What job is why we need reformation. Fantastic. Is that I, you know, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this question. Without, <laughs> I mean, without being biased, I, I know that, I mean, you are a lawyer and you, you, I mean, you should have integrity and I, I mean, we've been doing business together at least, we, I mean, we talk, uh, you know, on national matters and I can trust your integrity at least to a very large extent. Now, do you believe in the justice system in Nigeria? Is it working? It's working, I believe. But there is room for changes, and there is room for you know one or two you know adjustments here and, yeah, there. and there. But let me also tell you that those people who make our system to be terrible are not really the judges. We have a lot of things going on with the non-judicial officers, okay. court bailiff, yeah. court clerk, court registrars. They are funny people that government should focus on them for the purpose of effective administration of justice. They all work under the judiciary. You see, a case yeah. will take long in court sometimes if you file your matter in court in Lagos mm. and these other cities that are, you know, very commercial. Because in Ogun State, you don't have to bribe any belief. You know, in those states, if you file on Monday, I'm sure before Friday, they will serve that other person. But in Lagos, when you file your matter to court, the bailiff expects you to give him like 5,000 naira. If you don't give him that money, you your process yes. Yes. will stay in stalled. his back. I, yeah. I don't blame him. You know why? What government pays them to go and serve is stipend. Mm. I cannot file a matter, for example, in Ikeja, and the respondent is living in Kotwegbe. I mean, the, the defender is in Kotwegbe. Yeah. This belief needs to travel now, because it's traveling yeah. from Ikeja to Kotwegbe. And yes, government sir. is awarding him maybe 500 naira for that. For transportation. Stop. I'm yeah. telling you, we just stopped by at one book cafeteria. 
he will drink take it, will very chilled coke, and uh, and he will go back to his chair and say, I can't. The man is not around. Okay? If the address is a address, fake address, and I cannot address. get him. Oh, all right. So, so all right. Right. In, in, in the UK, in for example, you can be served even through Facebook on Instagram. All right. This is why we need why can God make? Uh, all right. All right. Uh, thank you so it's very much, Ayola and uh, Ishoma. <laughs> we have to take this conversation away from here. And uh, for those of us who have our Facebook addresses, it will be on the screen any moment from now. You can reach us, and you can send us, you know, even, even information on Twitter, and you can send us email too, and then we can take it off from there. But definitely we're coming back to address this matter, the role of the, of the judiciary in the anti graft war of President uh, Mohamed Buhari. Thanks for everyone who have been a part of our show. We'll be back tomorrow morning for another very interesting episode. Do mm -hmm. join us and stay out of trouble. It. So, did you like what you just saw? I know you did. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. If you want to see more, just subscribe to our channel right now.